The wait is finally over and the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is out. And I thought I'd go to a midnight launch and had a great time. It actually wasn't midnight, it was 9 o'clock on the West Coast. But anyways, went to the midnight launch to pick up my coffee. I picked up a standard edition with the new Amiibo and I'm going to check it out. One also mentioned that the promo that GameStop was doing was like an arm sleeve as well as a plaque and so i thought that was kind of neat and so anyways a big zelda fan and i'm gonna do a first look and show you the first uh few minutes and jump into gameplay and give you my thoughts let's take a look it's been a long time since i played breath of the wild I actually started it on the wii u and so this is a direct sequel to that Nintendo does a good job at summarizing the story, so you do not need to play that to jump into Tears of the Kingdom. And so uh, it starts off, you're exploring underneath uh, uh, some ruins, and you find a, a mural that talks about an uh, ancient civilization and a story, and you're with Princess Zelda. And uh, she's real excited about seeing this. I take the first hour of the game approximately and kind of condense this down. So, uh, you know what? If, if you love Breath of the Wild, you're going to feel right at home here. And so, uh, there, you know, it looks like there's a new baddie. And uh, it does impact Zelda. And you have to go uh, find her, essentially. And so, uh, it jumps you right in. I really like how this game started. And, uh, you know, it does there is an introductory uh, level, and I'm going to show you that. But, yeah, it's, it's sweet. Uh, there is uh, a familiar map uh, when you get to the main game uh, to Breath of the Wild, but things are different. And so uh, a lot of the same mechanics, but then new ones as well. And, you know, from what I've just initially jumped into, because really I was curious, like, how does this run? How, is there any major bugs? Uh, there was a day one update. So it goes from 1.0 to 1.1. So there is a day one update. Um, so for people playing on physical cart, update your game. You don't want to have any uh, bugs or glitches mess with your save or anything. So I, I definitely recommend that. Combat, very familiar to the first game. New baddies. Um, you know, this game does have a really cool mechanic, and I just scratched the surface on it, but you're gathering items, you know, um, there's a cookbook now, uh, which is kind of nice, where you can, uh, it's a little bit easier to, uh, for recipes and eating things, but yeah, the uh, game looks great, and so, uh, playing this on the Switch, and I'm actually having it docked and using my Switch Pro controller is how I prefer to play. Um, so yeah, just going around this initial area, it kind of gets you used to exploring and checking out things and gathering things. And um, so far, great. You know, it, it, it plays and looks great. You're collecting items, uh, very familiar. So if, you're, if, you, if you played Breath of the Wild, you're gonna feel right at home here. I really like the art style of this game and it looks like that you're, you're communicating with a an ancient race and this is uh, someone from that era and it looks ancient and kind of sweet kind of to me has that like a uh, dark crystal kind of reminds me of something from dark crystal for, for whatever reason anyways uh, but yeah, so uh, you're having to find Zelda and uh, pretty straightforward and there's lots of things to explore. You know, like like Breath of the Wild, there's so many things that you can go and explore. You don't have to do the main quest. You can go explore and unlock things and, and fight enemies. Um, just a heads up, my capture card is having an issue uh, with my switch it, it seems to not have it with uh, my other devices but for whatever reason it's not the game if you see it glitch out on the screen it's my it's my capture card so yeah uh 
very, very, very beautiful environment and makes you want to explore it. Uh, I, everything I saw, I wanted to climb. I wanted to uh, climb trees, you know, gather apples, uh, collect eggs. Uh, I see one up here, uh, an egg, you know, one of the, okay, I can climb to that. And I just love that about these types of games where it's like, you see it, you can go to it. And you got to kind of figure out how to get there. Um, the mechanic in this game is is pretty sweet and i'll show it to you at the end of this video but yeah um overall is it is it immensely different from my initial thoughts i haven't played too much of the game but my initial thoughts is it's it's a very awesome extension of the previous game that you don't need to play so you can jump right into this and it's 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 great um, there's so many fans of Breath of the Wild, fourth best best selling game on the Switch. So you're gonna get more of that here, and uh, you know, um, fantastic. So uh, the only the only challenge with a game like this, with me personally, is it's so long to beat. You know, even even just going directly through the quests, it's tough. That's tough to do. And, you know, if you're on limited time, such as myself, uh, that can be a challenge. But, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appreciate it and play what I can this summer. My goal is to uh, pick this up and, and enjoy it and, and play this uh, along with some other AAA titles and some indie stuff and just enjoy it. But, yeah, it looks like i got to go up here and uh, just gorgeous looking game. And so far, not any major glitches. Uh, I was told, or I heard, that uh, in areas that have lots of enemies and activity, it does start to chug on frame rate. But frame rate's a little bit different than actual bugs and glitches. So, uh, you know, I, I think there's a lot of people that are really uh, clamoring for that, you know, Switch Pro or whenever that's going to be released. I guess the target date now is past spring of 2024. But, you know... I think there's going to be plenty of people, such as myself, that are just going to be fine with their Switch OLED. Uh, even my original Switch is still functional. It's a little beat up after six years. Um, but yeah, uh, this is so far a very satisfying sequel. And, you know, I think that anybody that just wants to jump in and play this uh you don't need the breath of, to play the breath of the wild though that's a fantastic game and recommend it and it's cheaper so it's not 70 bucks like this so if you're curious of that first game you can get that in the 40 dollars range and uh for the original release and so this one just takes on up out right after it and so um so far of the initial area of playing this it's great and uh it's something that i will continue to play i do not know if i'm going to beat it i never beat breath of the wild just being honest and uh but i will continue to and enjoy this and check it out this is the the new kind of feature is that you get this ability where you can combine two things together and you can build all crazy weapons and you can use it to grab onto things and and move items around and it's the ultra hand and so there's different abilities that you get with that um, really really nifty thing and because of that ability i think this game just mm. opens up these endless possibilities of how you explore around and so i really think that's a cool feature and i really think that's just going to be some creative ways of how uh, speedrunners are gonna beat this game and appreciate it. There's gonna be uh, multiple videos on how to use your Ultra Hand and create uh, new ways of getting uh, across things and be able to, to beat things in, in very unique ways. Really looking forward to that. Um, just initially got it, so you know this is just the first. I can see Zelda fans going bonkers with this game. And it's really nice to see Nintendo release uh, a very polished and quality product. And I definitely think 
uh, for you know some of the later years of the Switch, this is going to be a game many people are going to pick up and appreciate. And it's so nice to see this. I can't wait to see what gamers discover in this game. It has been a long time since I checked out a new, fully fleshed out Zelda game. And wow, uh, initial thoughts, amazing. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it for anybody, nor do I really have time to delve into it now. But my goal this summer is to play this much more and appreciate it and enjoy it. And I hope you do too. So in the comments below, do you plan on getting this? Are you playing it? What do you think? Thank you so much for viewing this video and coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.